Pokemon Go players just can't seem to catch a break. So in case you were unaware, Niantic has been facing a lot of backlash lately from the Pokemon Go community, and out of the blue they decided to announce what the Ultra Unlock 3 is going to contain. Now there is stuff to be excited about with this new announcement, but honestly because of all the controversies that are currently going on, the player sentiment is not necessarily going to respond well to it, and that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video, so let's roll the intro and jump right into it. And how's it going everyone? It's me, it's Count here with a brand new Pokemon Go discussion video and today was supposed to be a really exciting video considering that Niantic just announced what the Ultra Unlock Part 3 was going to contain. And a lot of the features that are going to be included with this event are actually pretty exciting. But as you all know, there is this big controversy that is currently surrounding Pokemon Go and because of that, the player sentiment has been drastically low. So a lot of these exciting announcements have been going over a lot of players' heads, and for good reason, because players are extremely unhappy with Niantic and the way they've been treating their community. But real quick, let's talk about this Ultra Unlock Part 3 and what it's going to contain, so you could judge for yourself whether or not you should actually hype up this event. First and foremost, it's going to be a Galarian themed event, which is very interesting because it seems like Niantic for some reason is completely skipping over Gen 7. There was a lot of teases for Alolan Pokemon making their debut into Pokemon Go, but for one reason or another, Niantic is deciding to skip over all of that and go right into the Galar region. Of course, they're only going to be introducing a very small handful of Pokemon from the Galar region, but it's it's still a head-scratching move from Niantic. So here are the new Pokemon that's going to be introduced. First, we're going to get Squovet and Wooloo. These are all basic Pokemon from the Galar region, but we're also going to be getting the legendaries from the Galar region, Zacian and Zamazenta. I actually do not know how to pronounce these Pokemon's names, but we are going to be getting a basic form of both of these Pokemon. And I'm just really confused about this, considering that for one, Niantic is skipping over Alolan Pokemon. And I do know that a lot of players were anticipating the Alolan region, mainly because those starters are are very popular within the Pokemon fanbase, but instead of going straight into those, they decided to go with Galar Pokemon instead. They're also going to be releasing Shiny Galarian Weezing and Shiny Galarian Stunfisk. These are all Pokemon that players were anticipating. And then of course, Galarian Farfetch and Galarian Meowth are also going to get their Shiny forms introduced into Pokemon Go. So for Shiny Hunters, there is a lot to look forward to with the Ultra Unlock Part 3. But the point of this video is not to necessarily talk about the Ultra Unlock bonuses. I really still want to highlight what the community has been concerned about, and that is the fact that Niantic still has not addressed all of the player concerns regarding the pandemic bonuses. The fact that Niantic retracted a bunch of these bonuses and the players were vehemently against that decision, and yet Niantic was completely radio silent. I really think this is a very bad move for Pokemon Go and the longevity of this game, and it's something that I've been constantly repeating over the past couple of videos. I really feel like now is not the time to announce new events, considering that Niantic is just not in good standings with the community, and naturally a lot of these events are going to be ill-received. And we have seen that on social media. In the Niantic official Twitter post for this event, there's just a wave of backlash that players are giving to Niantic. Rather than being hyped up for this event, which in a vacuum would have been really exciting, instead players are still focused on Niantic's radio silence to their concerns. And I really think this is a big issue for Niantic. 
If they continue to keep this up and continue to be in a negative light with the community, then anything they announce is always going to be very ill received. I really think this is something that they need to come to realize. They need to make some sort of compromise with their community. I'm not saying that they should just meet all of the community's demands for these pandemic bonuses. What I'm really looking for is just some sort of communication. It really all it takes is just a blog post saying that they acknowledge the player concerns but they are deciding to go with these changes for these particular reasons even something like that would draw a lot of the fire away from the community because a lot of players just feel like they haven't been heard from Niantic for a long time. It's not just with these pandemic bonuses. There were a lot of issues with Pokemon Go over the past couple of years that just seemingly haven't gone unaddressed. The only time that I could think of that Niantic actually addressed the concerns of the community was in relation to Mega Evolutions. Of course, a lot of players were furious that Mega Evolution Energy was completely locked behind a paywall of raids. But of course Niantic listened to that feedback and they introduced Mega Energy as research rewards and other means that did not require you to spend money. Of course it wasn't necessarily a proper fix, it's more of a band-aid fix and players are still unhappy about this, but at least they addressed the player concerns and they acknowledged what the community was saying. This is just something that we want to see for every issue that we bring up. I mean obviously there's going to be a lot of things that players will complain about that's going to be kind of outside of Niantic's control but overall I think they just need to do a better job communicating with the community. I mean something happened recently that was actually a very big concern for myself. They recently lost their community manager over at Niantic. Their kind of point person for communication between the community and the company itself and that is of course Liz. She was a very big presence in the Pokemon Go community. Recently she decided to part ways with Niantic to pursue different things and I'm really excited for her and I do believe she received a lot of negativity undeservingly but yeah it's just really unfortunate right now for the Pokemon Go community because we really did lose that big voice within Niantic so I really do not know where we're going to go from here but I am thinking that as things currently are with Pokemon Go and the community it's not a positive outlook but I'm putting out hope that Niantic will actually do right with the community and communicate a lot better but we'll just have to wait and see. The ball is currently in Niantic's court and with this ultra unlock bonus announcement it's just it's just not a good look for Niantic really. I mean players really want to get communication from Niantic regarding this big issue regarding the pandemic bonuses but instead they're deciding to announce different events and that's really not the right move that Niantic should be going but yeah these are just my thoughts and opinions and i would love to know yours so definitely share them down below what are you thinking about regarding this ultra unlock part 3 event are you excited about it or are you still focused on the controversies that are going on with pokemon go right now definitely share them down below and yeah if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that subscribe button if it's your first time here and don't forget to share this with your friends as well so we can keep the conversation going that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm Kamchinsula. Be safe, have fun, and I'll catch you all later.